When I want to use my modify commands to manipulate objects, the first thing I'm asked is to select objects. Let's use our erase command as an example. You'll notice that my cursor turns into a pick box that allows me to pick individual items. And they're, when they're selected, you see them light up. And when I right click the mouse or hit enter, uh, the command is carried out on those selected objects. A more efficient way of selecting multiple objects is to use an implied window. I'm going to use my erase command again. And this time, without entering any other uh, commands from the keyboard, I'm going to click the left mouse button and I'm going to move from left to right pulling a window. Now this, notice that the window is blue and this is an implied window. Everything that's inside, any objects that are inside the window will be selected. So you can see right now that only those three small circles are entirely inside um, the window. So when I click the other side and end the window, only those three objects are selected. I can continue to select objects. So I, here I'll click again and notice I'm going left to right. And again, only those three small objects are selected. Now when you're selecting, you can increase the, the items in the selection set because select objects is still active. So I can add to the selection set by clicking on additional items, either using a window or individ picking them individually, or I can remove objects from the selection set by holding the shift button down and clicking them. So if you select a large number of items, you can then remove a few that you want to keep. When I right click the mouse, the command is carried out on the objects that were selected. Now we'll, let's look at what happens when I pull that window in the opposite direction. That becomes an applied crossing window. So I'm going to uh, activate my erase command again. I'm going to click the mouse once and now I'm pulling a window that's going from right to left. Now it doesn't matter if I go up or down, it's that I'm moving in a right to left direction and now it's a green window. What's going to happen now when I click the other side of this uh, selection window, it's going to select all of the objects that are inside the window plus all of the objects who have any lines that cross the object. So now if I click the mouse, you notice that any of these objects that crossed that box are now selected. If I right click, they'll all be erased. Now when I activate any of my modify tools that call for a selection, selection set, uh, my implied crossing window and my implied window selection are automatically invoked as soon as I click the mouse. If I want a manual selection, I have to enter W from the keyboard and hit enter. And now I can specify the corners of a window that will be only a selection window. Doesn't matter if I go left to right, right to left, um, I'm only going to activate a selection window. If I wanted to do that again, I have to enter W from the keyboard and hit enter each time. I want to uh, activate only a window selection. To create a crossing window that is manually uh, activated, I would uh, use a command that requires a selection set. And this time I would enter C for crossing from the keyboard and enter. And now I have a window and you'll notice that this window is only green. doesn't matter if I pull it left to right or right to left and it will work as a crossing window so everything that is in the, win in the window and everything that crosses an edge of the window will be selected and the command will be acted on th that set.